Canabine Show. I'm Joe Wombo, joined now with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. And coach, you guys competed last week against Albright and uh, basically secured at least a semifinal home game. Yep. Uh, and in a game that you guys were able to pull away late. Talk a little bit about that game and being able to do that. Well, I think we were playing pretty well for most of the game. You know, we didn't shoot the ball early on against Albright really well, and then things started to fall for us. And I thought we did a good job. I think the defense at times kind of had one or two little mishaps here, but that happens through the course of the game. So we were never uh, in fear of losing the game, but I thought that, uh, you know, we did enough to get going and moving. And then once things kind of started going our way, you know, we, got, we really got that waterfall, waterfall flowing. And then you guys traveled up to Cambrini. You guys had a 4-4 tie at halftime before they were able to pull away. You guys battled back a little bit in the third quarter. How much was that a good gauge for – what you guys may see later on in the season. Well, I th- you know, I think it's always a good gauge because they're, you know, a playoff team. They're going to be in the NCAA tournament. We might see them again, but I think we have to do better in fourth quarters again. That's the same. It's ten nine or ten eight going into the fourth quarter against them. Kind of what happened against York. We didn't clear the ball really well and gave them some opportunities in the fourth quarter. And, and in the big games, we've always had one quarter that's kind of really come back to haunt us a little bit. And we haven't made other teams pay as much in their one bad quarter. And so, you know, those are the type of things we have to do. We have to, you know, just play a little bit better and we need our goalies really to play better at times too. I didn't think Ross had his best day. But, you know, he'll bounce back against Stevens Tech and Masai this weekend and be just fine. But, you know, we need to do things a little bit better. And I think everybody in the staff and the, the, and the program understands that. And, you know, we still have all our aspirations and everything we want to do ahead of us. And, you know, we're certainly hopefully uh, we're certainly confident we'll be able to uh, do those. You guys stick on the road and travel up to Stevens Tech, as, as you mentioned. Uh, what do you guys – you guys haven't played them in a long time. Yeah, it's been a little while. <laughs> yeah. What do you know about them, and what are you expecting out of this game? Well, they're a good offensive team, and, uh, you know, they play some similar teams as we have, and so, you know, I think it'll be another good go for us. And, you know, I think they're pretty good defensively. I think they're uh, face-off all right. got a couple slick attackmen, a midi or two that's pretty good. And But, you know, we'll go up there and, and do our thing and see how we do. I think we'll get a much better full-game effort uh, than we did on, on a Friday night, and uh, we'll see what happens. But it's, those are the type of teams we need to compete against. Those are the type of teams we need to play well against, and that's why we play these tough late season games and you mentioned the messiah game as well you're going to go and round out the season there on the road possibly a number one seed in the mac commonwealth on the line a similar situation that you're in last season yep how do you guys go up there be prepared and pull it out well you know we're gonna, we just got to do the things we're doing we got to play mentally tough be physically tough we have to get off to a strong start against them and, and we know what they're going to do and how they're going to play we're very familiar with messiah and so you know we'll see how it goes i think we'll be confident going up there playing a night game we're used to playing in night games you know we do it all the time and and so i think we'll be just fine no fire towers there i don't think they have any fire towers not yet <laughs> well, <laughs> well coach we wish you the best of luck this week appreciate and it some big games up ahead yep you know we always have them and that's the great part about playing here is that you get to play the best week in week out awesome uh Thank you again, Coach. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wama, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.